Okay, welcome back to the channel. Another video, no unboxing. We're going to do another silhouette collection. Um, I mentioned last time out, um, I tried to do everything in one go and it was too much. So I'm doing the second silhouette in Diodora today. Most of the missing stuff is up there out of sight anyway because um, the stacks are too big to catch all on camera. But um, so there's no disturbance behind me, but there are six boxes down here. Um, I'm just going to run through them all. I spend a slightly longer than normal on each one um, because, you know, when it was a case of going through my Jordan 1s and my 4s and my N9000s and my <sighs> Jolly 3s, they're all like a lot more than six each. Um, so I'm kind of getting into the slightly smaller silhouettes or smaller collections of silhouettes now. It's going to take a little bit more time on each pair. I'm going to ping up two images. N9000 here, V7000 here, just for a few seconds, so you can get a view of the kind of difference between those and the Diodorus, because I'm acutely aware that they're probably less well-known of a brand versus anything Nike that I might have already shown, Jordan brand, or even A6. Um, so yeah, now that's gone, enough lolly gagging, let's get on with it. First pair. Original Dior box. So US 12, UK 11 and a half, which is usually my typical size in the V7000. It does run slightly um, na narrower, I want to say, than a N9000. So this is the Pata Times Deodora Honey Mustard. I think some people call them the 90s colorway. Um, you can see by Pata on the booty. Um, overall design is that of really nice white mesh. This mustardy, it's not actually particularly mustardy. Also doesn't look like honey, but I don't know, the name honey mustard. It's just a really nice brown suede all over. This really rich, deep purple, almost prints purple, deep purple. Um, around the back as well, and then a few just random hits of red. So you have a hit of red here, red on, along the edge of the of Diodora logo, um, and then you have the V7000 up on the heel there, where it always is. Spare brown laces, spare purple laces. I like the white a lot more. Um, I think I've worn them with the pats in as well, um, but the second I put those whites in, I don't think they've come back out again. And then on the other side, it has Diodora on the back and then Pata on the tongue in red, which is also a really, really nice touch. So you can kind of see that dual branding there. And then the reverse dual branding there. Both super, super nice looks. Um, have at least one dear friend um, did Aura guy friend who has this as like his best pair, favorite pair, probably the most versatile um, in terms of its colorways. Really, really nice pair. Second pair from last year, 2022, special edition box and. a shot glass in there it's dual branded yeah this side this side out which has the end on it this is the 2022 end clothing times diodora limoncello in a uk so this is half side down this is a U us 11 and a half uk 11 um Probably should have got this half a size up. So probably should have got the same size as the as the Pata's, um, but I didn't. They are slightly uh, snug, not too snug for sure. Um, I just wouldn't go on a four hour walk in them. Um, like a, I mean, I wouldn't anyway because the colorway is so light and the materials are so premium that um, anything I wouldn't do from a discomfort perspective, 
I wouldn't do from the perspective that's just going to kind of like ruin a really premium pair of shoes anyway. So spare yellows, we have end on the tips and the adora on the tips. Um, yeah, again, just it's like a, I guess a more simple colorway in terms of the blocking, but very, very premium in terms of the finish. Um, really, also really nice paper on her. They look to yes, they are worn. Everything, all five of the six are, 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 are worn. The other one is like the last pair of Theodores that I bought. Just because. There's the shop glass. Obviously, it's a booze themed pair. Dry January is nearly coming to an end. So I might have to use this in celebration of that soon. I want to say we're, we must be about 75% of the way through. Had to be done after the Christmas that I had. Say Christmas, the entire Christmas period. Like half of December. Those absolute scenes. Okay, so... One more pair here. This, this will take us after these, this will take us to halfway in another special edition box. As you can see, we're going to buy yeah, Slam Jam Primo. Can't remember the year, so I won't get it wrong. Primo Slam Jam Kith Ronnie Flag Theodora. Um, Again, RF 7000. So you can see here it says RF, RF, sorry, 7000 instead of V. This is because this is a Ronnie Flag pair and this um, diagonal toe piece is actually not there on the original V7000. It was something that Ronnie introduced to set this part, I guess to set this part apart from all other V7000s. Um, and hence the reason why they call it the RF. So on the box it says V7000 space RF. Um, I went US 11 and a half, UK 11. This pair actually fits me perfectly in that size. Maybe it's just pure le leather lining, uh, means that they do fit slightly bigger. Spare whites, spare purple and cream. So, yeah, purple and cream, and then spare green and purple and I have the pet and I have the green and cream it's actually olive um, the colorway on the box just says ivory white but in, in essence the, the the whole color scheme behind this is they asked Ronnie to to do a Italian flag pair and in, in Ronnie's not the word for word it's not verbatim but I did see a an interview with him where he kind of said something to the effect of white red and green are all quite like strong colors they're not typically like fashion colors um how do i do this and he basically took the green and swapped it out for this like really lovely olive he took the red and he swapped it out for this i guess maroon um, and then the white and swapped it out for this um this off-white or this cream ivory i guess is what you'd call it Again, like most Theodoras, super, super premium. Um, do not see these. I don't think I've ever seen anyone else wearing them. Uh, the only time I'll ever see them is on sneaker YouTube. So, and even then, that doesn't happen very often. So there's that. Another special edition box. is uh, I want to say 27-2018 Foot Patrol times Theodora Macchiato designed on the coffee Macchiato um, I'm just going to take the other side out as well because at one point I did want to make um, about Foot Patrol as a collaborator this is a US 11 and a half UK 11 also fits me perfectly so I guess the model can either be half size up versus N9000s or a full size up. Also completely leather lined. 
to its, to its detriment with this pair, because the one negative thing about this pair is because the tongue here is fully leather, it's a thick, strong leather, um, and the entire is, um, the entire uh, insides are, this is the noise you get when you walk sometimes. It's not making it now. They can be quite squeaky, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because it's leather on leather. Really premium um, Diodora stripes on both sides. You can see like the really fluffy suede on there. You have here, this is like, I guess this is a macchiato sign, and you have foot patrol there on the bottom, on the back even. Um, one of the things I wanted to say is that I mentioned about Hanon and the N9000. They generally cover the inside of the shoe in their branding, um, and on the outside, you kind of just have one really small little like symbol. Um, foot patrol tend to do the opposite, so they've put um, that they've put that branding on the outside. There's their logo, um, and it says V7000 FP on the tongue, so foot patrol on the tongue. They they quite they seemingly quite like to put their branding on the outside, and there's nothing. Like there's no branding on the inside. Flat whites in there. Um, there's another pair of flat whites that they come with that have gold tips. Um, I just need to wash those laces. That's the reason I have this pair in. I think this is just like the simple pared down white flat, flat whites that you get with it. Um, I will be probably putting the gold tips back in once I've had a chance to clean them um, properly. And then you get this really interesting set. Sorry, there's also a pair of brown, really, really light brown, and then you get this really interesting leather laces as well, which look really cool. I have yet to play around with lace options on these, and I really do need to do that. Two more. box you might remember from late last year 24 collates or collages are still not 100 percent sure these are us 12 uk 11 and a half so back to the same size as the um as the uh, potter um honey mustards Lattes, friends to your Torah, friends for life. Modeled on Cody, this um, mascot here. You can see the shape of the um, cartoon dog head, the 1992 Barcelona Olympic mascot. Um, has this little hanging thing. Obviously, you're not supposed to wear that, but it comes on there. Again, the shape of the dog's head. Um, Calate on the back, the K. On the back, um, they have these ones have a kind of slightly thicker laces, I guess. I've kind of, I think I've relaced, yeah, I must have relaced these. Um, yeah, I did spare laces, spare kind of this mustardy. This is probably more mustard than the mustard hair. Um, you get long pony hair back here, like a lot of long pony hair back here, and then also long pony hair um, running up the the lace um, piece, a really thick piece of leather, um, mustardy leather on the toe box, um, and then really, really premium suede um, actually in the toe, um, all leather back here. So it's full grain hair, and then all perforated as you get around the back here. Um, just a very, very well made pair of shoes. Um, back in but they are DS and it came out in November and it's been pretty cold here since and then the last one I've saved my favorite till last it's pretty my favorite Diodora as well as my favorite V7000 another special edition box so this is the a few store Highly addictive V7000. Um, 
I've gone US 11 and a half, UK 11, so that size down. Colorway on the box is useless, it just says white. Um, but it's essentially here, it's like a mint and peach, um, peach-ish type of colorway. And again, spares, I have the flat whites in there. They are slightly waxed and they have these pill, the pills on the end of the, um, on the end of the lace um, to replicate this pill that you see on the back of the shoe. Um, really, really nice premium mesh. Um, spare insoles, actually, as well, if they're from the beach. So if you have like a spare pair of insoles, again, covered in the, um, in the pills. Um, oh, and the other side, whilst I have it open, you have the A Few Store logo on the other one, um, and on the tongue on this pair. This is a Made in Italy pair as well. Oh, and it has highly addictive written across the back. Highly addictive, it's white on white, so hopefully you can see that. Um, those two colors, again, on the insole is the mint and the, the kind of like peachy color. Uh, it just says Made in Italy on the inside. Okay, so, be beautiful pair. Um, I guess like a, a Deodora Grail as well, I would say. Uh, very highly sought after. Um, it usually runs way um, over retail. Um, I would say this is in my top five sneakers of all time. They're just beautiful. There's no other way to put it. Short season coming up soon. A few, few months away from spring, so they will be getting worn again. Cool, so that's it. That's my V7000, my Deodora V7000 silhouette collection. Um, six pairs, all look really different and love them all for very different reasons. Thanks for watching. Um, that's it from me. Over and out.